Hello, this is the first uh, lesson on how to create an instance in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So we are on the Oracle Infrastructure main page. In here, we're going to click on the menu. In here, we're going to click on the compute part. We're going to click on instances. And from here, we're going to click create instance. After create instance will be pressed. Yeah, we need to name the machine. We can leave the initial name, but it's better to have a name that it's telling you very quick what you have installed on that machine. I'm going to name it Wazoo Server. I can select the compartment where I want to install it. If I was initially in that compartment, then it would not be needed to select another one. In here, I have the option to select different availability domains where I want to put my instance. In here, if I click on Show Advanced Options, I have the ability to select the capacity type on demand instances, preemptible capacity. If I have some capacity reservation, I can choose from that capacity reservation. Or if I have a dedicated host, I have the option to select that one. Also, I have the option to select my own fault domain, or I can let Oracle to choose my best fault domain that I have in there. Now, next, I have the option to select image and shapes. By default, I have Oracle Linux 8, which is a shielded instance with the ability of using it. Yeah. In there, if not, I can go and click Browse uh, All Images. I can select different uh, image types. Yeah. So in here, I can go with Oracle Linux to install it. Let's say Oracle Linux 8. Uh, after I select that, I can also select if it is a different uh, version of patches. Yeah. So I have also the option to choose the image build in there. I select the image, I go down, and here I need to select the network. Previously, we created a different VCN, so I'll select the VCN that was created in there. In here, I'm going to select the private network. You also have the option to select public ones if you want to expose something directly, but we do not recommend to do that. Yeah, we always re recommend to use the load balancer that will work also as a reverse proxy if needed. After that, next step is to generate a new SSH key if you don't have one. If you have SSH keys, you have the option to go, you click upload and you upload that uh, public key in here. Next step, it is the ability to select, let's say maybe a, a different boot volume. So I'll increase the boot volume to 80 GB. And last step, yeah, if I want, I can go on the show advanced options in here, I have the ability to import a cloud in a script, paste it in here if needed, uh, or I can go and use Oracle Cloud Agent and enable vulnerability scanning service and Bastion uh, service too. If I want, let's say, to do block management to increase on the fly the performance of the disk and so on, I also have the ability to select other ones. If not, I can do it after the machine is created. And now, last step it is to click Create Instance, and the instance will be created in the backend. Now, as you can see, we have uh, the state of the instance is provisioning. Now, if you're going to wait for a few more seconds, yeah, in the private IP list, it will appear the private IP of that machine. And that means the machine, it is accessible only from the internal network. Now, if you go a little bit down, we have the work request. In the work request, we see that the percentage of the uh, pay, uh, instance creation is at 15%. If I move to an, another menu and go back, yeah, it is still in there. 15% uh, means that you're going to have to wait uh, under one minute until the machine is created. So. Yeah, as you can see right now, it is at 100% uh, creation under one, on one minute. Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you soon.